Whenever I wake up, I don't put on any makeup. As a matter of fact, I hardly even get dressed. I mosey on up to my office in my undies and clock in for a bit of overtime while I sip my liquid caffeinated laxative. I like to start the day by having my cat respond to a few morning emails because I feel his catitude embodies my true emotions for the start of every workday. Just kidding. He only knows no-no words. And in the corporate world, that's a no-no. What is up, YouTube? Welcome to another beautiful rest day. I hope you're doing well today. So we're going to get this morning started off with a nice little hike outside, get some steps in, and just be with nature because nature is amazing. Whenever I have time and I get the chance, I, I love going to hiking trails and just getting away from the hustle and bustle of being in a suburban area where there's a ton of people. Yeah, I'm technically still in a suburban area right now, but there's trees and no cars and less people, so that's always nice. My step goal today is around 7,000 steps. It is another rest day, so we're going to just be kind of taking it easy. My macros today are 160 grams of protein, 140 five grams of carbs and 65 grams of fat. So I will show you what I'm having for breakfast after this. I woke up not super hungry, so I decided to just get my walk in and eat after I'm finished with this. So I'll catch you on the trail. Just a quick tip, and this is nothing revolutionary, but as someone that works from home, if you are also someone that works from home, I suggest prioritizing on the weekend, making sure that you get out of your house, you do something, you don't have to spend money, you don't have to go eat food, you can do anything. And just like, I could go for a walk around my neighborhood, but I walk around my neighborhood all week long while I'm, you know, get breaks at work. So if I need to get steps in, I go to a place such as the one I'm in right now to get out of the environment that I'm consistently in day in and day out. Life can get boring. A lot of it's the same. It's a lot of repetition for people that are just regular old hoes like me. <laughs> so I just feel like for the sake of your mental health, me personally, I'm someone that does struggle with mental health it's a good thing to get out of your environment and to man watch well, shut up i haven't hit that mile i ain't even walking my watch is saying i hit a mile and i i'm not even walking right now i think it's a good thing to get out of your environment and the scenery that you're consistently in day in and day out just to clear your mind and just have new scenery for a change so get out and get your steps in and go somewhere aside from your neighborhood or the typical places that you walk around or your treadmill or anything like that. It can really be beneficial to your mental health. Take care of that because that is number one. Everything else will fall into place after. That's it.
nothing new here if you are not new to this channel you know what this is the same bowl of bullshit i always refer to it as uh this is my slop bucket you saw everything that goes into it cream of wheat with turkey bacon cherry tomatoes it's cooked in vegetable cooking stock there's some oyster sauce scallions and two six minute soft boiled eggs i love it eat it basically every single day and if you're not new here you already know this I like to have my breakfast also with a little bit of flavored water. I got some zero calorie squirts, uh, strawberry watermelon mixed with some orange tangerine. You can get these from Aldi. Going for 150 ounces today. I keep track by using my water bottle. I hit 160 with this because it's 32 ounces. I hit five of these, a little over a gallon. Breakfast is served. I don't know if anybody else is OCD like me, but eating something like this, every bite, I have to get a little bit of everything in every bite. Oh God, you guys are gonna think I'm weird. So I cut my eggs in half, and then I cut each half into fours, which creates a total of 16 egg pieces. Then I get eight cherry tomatoes, cut those in half, and that creates 16 cherry tomato pieces. Then I got, you know, my scallions and my turkey bacon. There's a bunch of little ones of those throughout the dish. And in every single bite, I make sure that I have egg, tomato, and everything else. But I mix it all together, get all the flavors going. I've had a couple friends reach out to me and say that they've tried to make this and they think it's delicious. I've had a couple other friends reach out to me and say, that looks absolutely disgusting. But what I say to that is, you're entitled to your opinion, but you can only have an opinion if you've made and tasted it. If you haven't, because you think it just looks disgusting, mind your business. The reality is it does look like a bowl of slop, so I mean, to each their own, but I think it tastes good. So the next meal that I got here is a salad. You saw all of the ingredients that I put into it uh, while I was chopping them up. I also got 6.5 ounces of some grilled chicken breast. I always have chicken breast in the fridge basically to get make sure that I'm getting my protein intake of 160 grams a day and just having some prep makes things nice and easy. I'm gonna dip it in some sriracha and some sugar-free famous cluckin sauce from G Hughes. I'm only gonna do uh, a tablespoon of it, so it's gonna be about 50 calories of that. This salad that I've made here, I found it on Facebook. I, it was just one of those random videos. This girl popped up, she's making a salad. She said it's the Kardashians' favorite salad that they order at this restaurant. Don't remember what it's called, what the restaurant's called, what the salad's called, but I just got all the ingredients and I threw it in a bowl because it sounded really good. It's delicious. I'm not a Kardashian fan. Um, nothing against them, I just don't watch them, but 
the salads that they eat sound really good. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this, have a little bit of water with it. Always gotta have something to drink while I eat. It's, comment below if you always have to have something to drink while you eat because I can't eat without a drink and anybody that can, they're an alien. You have to be an alien. I don't know, how do you just eat food and not have something to like get it down with? I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have this, and I will catch you guys at dinner. Getting into the third and final meal for the day. And this is what we're having. Shrimp, white basmati rice, that's already been cooked. Chopped green onion, bang bang stir fry sauce. Always have sriracha. And topped with, I always just keep it in my pocket just in case. Some everything but the bagel seasoning. And it will all be in this bowl in three, two, one, Super easy, quick, bang bang shrimple. Got 474 calories in this bowl. I will go through all of my macros and calories at the end of this meal. Shrimp and chicken are two great sources of lean protein. They're probably my top two go-to. Top two go-to's basically just because they're low in fat, high in protein, and I don't know, I guess like on the lighter side, I guess you could say in a certain sense. Can't forget, we're gonna have this baby with a diet Mountain Dew. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this meal and I will see you guys here shortly to show you the very last thing that I'm gonna be having for today. So I'm topping my night off with something a little bit sweet. It's that time of month and I need something sweet and chocolatey to help carrying me through without murdering somebody, so yeah. I'd never had a Kinder Bueno bar before, and we were in the checkout line at Aldi. And I was looking at them, and I was like, I feel like I've seen and heard people on YouTube, I feel like it's usually people in European countries that always talk about these, and that they're really good. So, I wanted to try one. You get two bars, and to me, like, so this is 120 calories, and it's it's a decent size and it's satiating so i tried one of these for the first time the other day and they are absolutely just broke in half delicious if you've never had one i highly recommend the inside has like there's a wafer inside with basically like a creamy nut filling and it's so good so I'm gonna eat half of one of these bars. I also got one more jug of water to go. So for today, we are hitting 153 grams of protein, 146 grams of carbs, and 69 grams of fat. And I've had 1,836 calories for today. I'm actually super full right now. That salad really filled me up. And I'm guessing probably because of all the the fat that was in it, it definitely helped to keep me full. It's kind of crazy with counting my macros. I never realized how low in fat my diet was and you definitely need fat obviously for your hormones and I truly believe that you need all three macros because your body probably does best on consuming all three macros. But I was always just so calorie focused before and never really focused on my macros and always was just really focused on the scale going down and dropping weight where now I really want to build muscle, I want to fuel my body properly and you don't have to stay away from carbs or fats to do those things. Yeah you can definitely manipulate and go up and down with them but you should have a good foundation and I really enjoy having a coach because it's taking it's taken a big weight off of the aspect of knowing what number that I need to put everything at. Since I'm not a professional in that field, it's nice having somebody that is, that knows how to calculate and to give me good solid numbers to make good progress. So yeah, having olive oil isn't something I typically do and it was in my salad dressing today and I'm like, well, you know what? I have 65 grams of fat to mess with today. 
I can have something like this and it's just all working out. So life is crazy. I'm gonna finish my Kinder Bueno bar and 150 ounces of water and just relax for the rest of the night. If you guys hung out with me today, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.